In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this four stage funnel diagram in PowerPoint. As you can see here, you can put the inputs and you can change the percentage and then you can add the output here. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. First step is to create the funnel. Go to blank slide, change the background color, design, format background, gradient fill, and select the first one that is light gradient accent one go to insert tab shapes select the oval this size is enough shape fill no fill shape outline give any color say uh, blue dark blue and in the format shape go to effects 3d format change the settings to height make it 135 width make it 0 here width let it be 0 and height make it 45 go to 3d rotation change the perspective to perspective relaxed and y rotation make it 330 and perspective you make it 100. Go to 3D format, change the material to say a clear. Alright. I'm just going to increase the size somewhat. Fine. I'm going to increase the size some more. fine now duplicate this funnel this oval shape press ctrl D take it down you have to reduce the size where you can see inside this shape we have to match to that one so just bring this one here and reduce from the sides okay and go to format say send to back do the same thing for the the third part press ctrl d bring it down and reduce the shape say to this one again format send to back make the last one press ctrl d again bring it here reduce the size and send to back i'm just going to increase this one so i'm just going to yes perfectly all right now if you want to change the color or if you want to change the height you can just go to again format and you can change the height or change the width as you like I'm going to just change the color of this one let this the first one be blue the second part I'm just going to make go to shape outline and say let me just select the second one I'm making it green third one I'm making it say a blue a fourth one I'm going to make say orange right so we have completed the funnel 
and let's do the remaining part now okay let's do this part now go to insert shapes select the curve and draw from here press the enter key here and sorry the uh, the mouse click and double click here press ctrl d and rotate say flip horizontal and bring it to this side okay go to insert again shapes select this one trapezoid just draw this much and go to rotate say a flip vertical and bring this here reduce the size right mouse click say edit points go till this point and make this point here just go to a fill effect and transparency make it less transparent so and what I'm going to do now is select this one and just drag the points so that the nice curve can take place okay now select this one say shape outline as no outline and delete these lines and we'll give some format shape to this one uh, go to gradient fill select this color make it say uh, blue or or make it somewhat gray color and delete this part make this as white and transparent this also make somewhat transparent Right. so we have done this part the next one is to insert some arrows here go to insert tab shapes select this arrow the arrow down we're just going to increase this one right press ctrl d you can make it one here press ctrl d you can bring it here and one more uh, one more arrow sorry you can bring it down and you can remove the shape outline of all the arrows if you want you can give some different colors as well i'm going to give a dark blue color I'm going to change the, the format shape of this one select this color and make it a dark blue I'm just going to add one more stop make it say a gray color and this white let it be full transparent If you want you can give some headings here inside the arrows some text I'm just going to say say project one and reduce the size
right we'll do the remaining for the other text as well and we are going to give some more uh, arrows here the small arrows to show the progress of the work completed select this arrow again press ctrl D and reduce the size of the arrow say ok press ctrl D again I'm going to give a text like 25% completed, 50, 75 and 100. This will be the output. So go back to insert again, text, say 75%, make it a white color, reduce the size and bring it here. Make it 25, sorry. Control D, make it 50, likewise do for 75 as well as 100. Alright. Now the last part is to give the label for each uh, part of the funnel. Go to insert, shapes, you can select a line or arrow or whatever. Example I will select the line here. Say this is the stage 1, press shift key to get the straight line and end arrow type I am going to select this one and I am going to write stage 1 here stage 1 change the color to dark blue and bring it here similar we do it for this one as well I'll select this flip horizontal and reduce the shape copy this one stage 2 stage 3 and stage 4 I'm just going to give some borders I'll just bring this whole area on the control A and bring it somewhat top here all right I'm going to give some borders here press ctrl D and bring this down as well shape outline no outline and I'm going to add some more shapes here so that we'll write the description here same color no outline I'm going to insert again select the rectangle I'm just going to cut this one from this angle All right select this one and this rectangle in format merge shapes select subtract and you can give the heading here that's it uh, gentlemen uh, from the designing part friends you can download this slide download link is given in the description if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe my channel OS VFX see you next time with more interesting stuff till then goodbye That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.